At a Grand Rapids Inventors Network meeting, Doug DeVos spoke to the group about innovation and the spirit behind Amway, the spirit that his father, Rich DeVos, had along with Jay Van Andel when they began their careers and in the businesses that they had prior to starting Amway. Check it out. Welcome to Buy Local Michigan, where we are promoting Michigan business, communities, and its people. Our story is a you know, 60, almost 70 year old story uh, at this point in time. And you know, it, it may not exactly apply, but some of the things that my dad and, and Jay Van Andel did, or some of the things that they experienced shaped them. And, and while those specific instances may not be happening today, again, hopefully some of those uh, experiences will, will help you uh, as well. So I, I got to go back. They grew up in good old Grand Rapids, right? They grew up in a place where they had families that believed in them. They had people that were encouraging them. They grew up in the midst of uh, the Depression uh, at a time when, when my, my grandfather, uh, they lost their house. They moved in and lived with my, my great grandparents. They lived in kind of an upper room that they had in their home. Uh, and, and at my mother, my grandmother's 80th birthday a number of years ago, many, many years ago, my, my dad and his sisters and my grandma were there and they were talking about those times and those tough times and my dad and his sisters were, oh, this was bad, this was bad, this was bad. And my grandmother said, stop it. She goes, you make it sound so bad. We had fun there. We had a good time. We were together as a family. We were working through this together. You know, we, 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 it was okay. You make it sound so bad. And that's a pretty telling indication of the environment my dad grew up in. <laughs> and my great, and my grandfather would, would tell him all the time. He passed away before I was born. I never got a chance to know him, but the stories my dad would say, he always said, it's going to get better. We're going to work through this and we're going to get to a better place. You're never stuck. No matter how tough the situation was, they were never stuck. And they always were going to look to the future. It's going to get better. Even when he was out of work, even when he lost his home, my grandfather said, it's going to get better. And so I, there's an environment there that's, that's an important aspect. Again, now let's transfer that to World War II. As you come from Hungary, you, you know, your experiences in, in, in Europe and throughout the Pacific, you know, a time in the world where the future was incredibly uncertain. What was going to happen? And, and, and after high school, it's a really easy, you know, easy decision of what to do next for my dad and his generation. You sign up and you go to war. What does that mean? Nobody knew. Didn't know if you're going to come back. But after that period of time, the entrepreneurial spirit and the fact that, that there was a more certain future, there was peace that was going to happen, there was, there was potential there, that, that environment was, was dramatic for them. And they had talked in high school and they had talked throughout the time when they both served, they wrote numerous letters back and forth together or to each other and said, you know, Jay would write letters, Richie, he called my dad Richie, which I always think is pretty funny. <laughs> You know, Richie, someday this war is going to end. Someday we're going to get in business together. Someday we're going to have a chance to do something. Someday. And that spirit was so important to the two of them. In fact, and, and their determination to do it together. In fact, they started their first business before my father even returned home from the service. So through my grandfather, he, dad had some money in an account, gave it to Jay, and Jay put it in an account and said, 50-50, you know, Rich, we're going to do this together. We're all in this together. And they started into, I can't exactly remember what the venture is even at that time. But when dad got home, they continued to, to, you know, to want to be into business together. There's more videos on Doug DeVos' presentation at the Grand Rapids Inventors Network, and you can watch those by going to grinventors.org or check out Grand Rapids Inventors Network on Facebook. I'm Dwayne from DW Video and Multimedia. Remember to buy and shop locally. Buy Local Michigan is produced by DW Video and Multimedia, where we are telling your story.